In this problem, we have to find the derivative of the natural log of x divided by x cubed. So we have a quotient. So one strategy is to use something called the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says if you have two functions, say f and g, and you're taking the derivative of the quotient, so you're dividing them. Think of f as your top function and g as your bottom function. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom one squared. So it takes uh, a little bit of getting used to when you're first learning um, this formula. So let's do it. So we have the derivative of our function f. And this is equal to, let's see, so this is our top function. So the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. It's a formula times the bottom. So the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top. And then times the derivative of the bottom. Now, this derivative will simply be 3x squared with the power rule because you bring down the 3 and you subtract 1 from the 3 so you get 2. So I'm going to put this in parentheses just to add clarity. So 3x squared. Just so there's no confusion, you know, between like the x inside the natural log and this being like all together. It just makes it look better. Over the bottom one squared. So x cubed and this whole thing here is squared. Let's just check that. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. Yep, everything looks, uh, looks okay. So we have f prime of x. This is equal to Let's see, uh, we get some cancellation here. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we get x squared minus, and then you can put this in the front, so 3x squared uh, ln x, all divided by, and then here we can use a property of exponents, 2 times 3 is 6. We simply get x to the 6. We're not done. Um, this can be simplified. Uh, two ways to do it. You can factor something out, or you can break it up into um, two different pieces. Let's, uh, let's factor out uh, the common denominator, uh, common factor in the numerator. So the greatest common factor in the numerator is going to be uh, x squared. So you have x squared, parentheses, and then here we'll have a 1 minus, and then 3 ln x. Yeah, it looks okay. So they both had an x squared. You'll see one here and one here. So we pulled it out from each one all over x to the 6. So that means the derivative with respect, uh, with respect to x, <laughs> these cancel, so we get 1 minus 3 ln x. So we lose an x squared from the bottom. We had x to the 6, so we're left with x to the 4th. And that would be a better answer. I think this would be a more acceptable answer. So if you left it this way and, like, you know, you were doing this for, like, a class, you might lose a point or two, you know, because it's not really simplified here. This can still be reduced, so... Uh, it is important whenever you use the quotient rule to always watch out for stuff like this because this tends to happen a lot. Uh, you use the quotient rule and then there's, there's some like, not hard, but there's still some simplification left. Uh, so just something to, uh, to keep in mind. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to uh, anyone out there who's watching it. And uh, yeah, good luck.